when you change in the tier 3 okay the tier 3 is just the same we have all this green aura everywhere around oh my god what happened to them oh my god where did he send those where did he send the dummies <laughs> Hey Marvel Future Fight agents, welcome back to another brand new video and I just received the pre-update APK for the February update, the Hydra update and before we get into the video, I would like to thank Netmarble and Marvel Future Fight for giving me this opportunity to review this update. So whatever you see in this video is not going to be the exact same when the update goes live. Uh, I mean the character statistics and everything that will be changing so we have a few slight few changes in the game and also the addition of three new characters and, and the four new uniforms plus the tier 3 for winter soldier so here we go we have this addition of shield academy in the menu window right now it was the settings button in that position but they have added the shield academy to this and the settings button has been moved towards the top close near the close window so that's just a really small change, nothing big, but it just makes the screen now more clear of more buttons. And then the other change is in the dimension missions. Now when we go into the dimension missions, as you guys can see, we have the support characters images on the right side over there. Now this is a really dope move because we get to see what biometrics we will be receiving. Uh, that is pretty cool and also the fifth icon of the premium character bio that we would be getting uh, I think this is a really good change in the dimension missions then we As we click on the support character list the list is now more wide now It was a really small list and now it's more wider You can see more characters in the list and also I just went on to see if there were additions of any new characters to this list, but it's just the same character list uh, nothing has been changed, uh, no new premium character has been added, so it's just the same. And I also went on to check the support shop if any new character biometrics were added to the shop. That was also exactly the same list of characters that we got in the January update. So the new free characters of this update are also not added to this shop. And now going into the new characters of this update. We have three new characters in this update, Baron Zemo, Viper and Taskmaster. So let's go into Baron Zemo, we'll begin with Baron Zemo. He is the speed character and his biometrics are available only from the monthly subscription package. So he is the premium character of this update. Yes, he is paywall. And now talking about the skills, skills are pretty good. The leadership skill is 50% increase of all attacks but it applies only to the villain allies. And for tier one passive, we have uh, dealing 20% bleed damage. And then the tier two passive is increasing the guaranteed dodge, bleed, and skill damage. A pretty decent tier two skill. Okay, not, not nothing to complain about. So I think it's decent. And then going into the skills, we have the first skill, a pretty basic damage dealing skill. And then the second skill, uh, it deals burn damage, grenade spin, and then the third one is it has a stun, silent incapacitation and increasing all attacks by 45% and returns for immunity. Okay, now that is a really good skill. And the fourth skill, stun. Okay, wow, minus 45% decrease of all defenses. So we have a all defense decreasing skill for Baron Zemo. That is really good, guys. Double pistol assault. And then the fifth skill. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. The fifth skill also has a decrease of all defense. Stacks up to minus 45%. Oh my god, he has two skills which decreases all defense. And I mean, this is going to be so good. This character is going to be so cool to play with. Let's just go into the preview skill section, see how the skills are going to work out. Now the uh, pretty speed, this guy is the first skill. It's not an iframe. You have a couple of slashes and some shots fired using his firearms. Uh, a basic skill mostly. Uh, now we'll go in with the second skill that has an iframe on it, releasing the grenades for some burn damage. 
that is really good that is a really good skill the second skill looks good look good movement too the third skill that has an iframe that also has an iframe that has a complete iframe on it and it binds the character a little bit good good skill now going on with the fourth skill wow oh wow that is something similar to what Deadpool is having. Uh, he does a couple of shots fired and then he slashes with his sword. That is a pretty cool move and this is the one which has that all defense down. And now for the fifth skill. Okay, that is also a long skill with some iframe which pops up at times. Not bad guys. The skills look really good and decent. We just need to test out how the damage is going to be of these damn skills. Uh, I'll be making a separate video for that about the uh, character review. In this video, it's just about what the update is going to give us, uh, the characters and everything. So we'll be making more stuff about character damage and everything. Now we'll go into the next character that we are going to get in this update. So Baron Zemo premium character of the update the next character is wiper or madam hydra and that is her poison she is a poison character a speed type character and her biometrics are available in the shop so she is a free to play character biometric characters can be used for her now that is some good news guys a free to play character uh, talking about the skills, the leadership is increasing poison damage by 40%. Okay, that is a pretty good skill. Sorry, a leadership. And I think that can work out with Shadow Shell who deals complete poison skills. That is a really good leadership. Now, tier 1 passive immunity to poison effect. 90% chance to become immune to poison damage. Okay, not bad. Now, the tier 2 passive is increasing crit rate, skill damage. An attacking enemy poison effect is applied guaranteed dodge rate okay wow not bad that tier 2 is good for her now going into the skills the first skill is a physical attack skill okay we don't have an entire list of poison skills for her we have just three poison skills so the first skill is just basic a uh, skill which does some poison damage and then we have the second skill again some poison damage that's poison skill too now the third skill is a illusion skill we have some uh maybe some characters will be summoned and it is also a buff for her increasing all attacks all speed crit rate also and an immunity for four seconds not bad the fourth skill increases poison damage uh and deals some poison damage to the enemies not bad good fourth skill there fifth skill Minus 7% decrease of poison resistance stacks up to 50%. Minus 50% of Ignos immunity. That is good. Invincibility for 3 seconds. Okay, I think this looks like a decent character to play with. Some good skills there. Uh, let's just preview the skills now. Wow. So, good movement. She has that whip with her. Now, we'll go with the first skill just a basic skill no iframes on it uh, she just uses her whip now going with the second skill iframe skill and she lands those poison uh, okay she lands some poison damage on those enemies good skill good skill just try that again look at that poison landing on the enemies not bad now going in for the third skill which is the illusion skill Okay, we have some Hydra robots in there, which they do apply poison damage. Okay, not bad. So we can use the third skill right away because it also buffs her skills also. And now we'll go on with the fourth skill. Okay, some iframes and good. Okay, that skill looks really good. It's like she applies some poison stuff on her whip and then she uses a whip to inflict poison on the enemies look at that wow that is some really good skill i'll just do that one more time and you guys can get a close-up look of what she is doing look at that that is a really good skill 
now go in for the fifth skill now okay i frame skill that has a lot of slashing and a lot of poison damage wow that fifth skill looks really good and it has a lot of hits too uh, i'll just bind all these guys together and try that fifth skill again nice wow 200 plus hits a lot of poison damage on that fourth third Ah, I think the rotation would be easier than Shadow Shell. Let's just see that she also has a self leadership of 40% poison damage. Not bad. Now uh, we'll just look into the last character that we're going to get in this update. Taskmaster now. And he has been in the game for a really long time. We see him popping up in the battle world and finally he is here now. Taskmaster. Combat character. And he is okay. He is also a free character, guys. His biometrics are available in the shop. Uh, now I just have this confusion if uh, if any of these are going to be crystal paid characters. Uh, okay. So what we can do is we'll just confirm that. We'll go into the lab, the shield lab, and see if biometrics are available of uh, uh, Taskmaster and also Wiper. Uh, here we go. The lab in here. Okay, that's that's a confirmation. Wiper biometrics are available in the shield lab. Good. That is good. Now combat. And there is Taskmaster 2. Okay, so that is really good, guys. We are getting both these characters. We can use the biometric selectors for them. So that's some pretty good news. Two free characters. Now going into the skill section. The leadership is uh, dodge rate increased by 6%. This is something similar what Deadpool is having, self increase of all attacks, all defense and all speeds. Uh, in the case of Deadpool, I think it's a recovery rate increase by 6%. It's dodge rate for Taskmaster here for all allies. Uh, okay, not bad. Uh, leadership for himself. Now tier 1 passive and HP is below 50%. We have an increased guaranteed dodge rate by 40%. Okay, that is pretty good. Really good dodge on that. And then the tier 2 passive. Applies to Weapon Master Allies, increases Guaranteed Crit Rate, knows Dodge Rate by 20%, increases Skill Damage, okay. This is something what White Fox is having, uh, you know, for the hero, the leadership allies. So now this, the gun icon over here, that's the Weapons Master icon. Uh, I think uh, some of the characters in the game has it. So, his tier 2 passive is going to be applied to all those guys not bad that is really good so zemo and wiper does not have that one uh, winter soldier must be having yeah there is the, his ability he has the weapons master ability and uh, crossbones also must be having it he should be another character with that yes so those who deals with all the weapon category they get uh, the tier 2 passive work of taskmaster I like that. I like that. So he is a really good supporting character. We have a support character, guys. I like that. Now going into the skill sections. The first skill is a pretty damage dealing skill. It decreases the damage received by 20%. The second has a bind in it. The third skill has minus decrease of all defenses. Okay, a decrease of all defense skill on the third one. And it also has a stun. Hmm, okay, interesting. Now for the fourth skill, we have 50% shock damage and increasing his attacks by 35% and crit rate by 35%. A self buffing skill there. And then the fifth skill, that also has a minus 5% decrease of all defenses, stacks up to minus 45%, invincibility for 5 seconds. Okay, so the fourth and fifth skill both have decrease of all defenses. That is pretty good. Now let's just check out the skills of Taskmaster. Uh, we saw from the live stream they were pretty okay to watch. That's the first skill. No iframe on it. Okay, that slow motion jump is really cool. Look at that. Look at that. And that shield just floating in the air. A really good looking first skill. Now the second skill has an iframe. 
that's a really fast skill also he just jumps with the iframe and then slashes them back again and that's the third skill eh, eh, okay that has some shock damage the third skill is the one which has the decrease of all defenses also uh, that's the second that's the third so they follow up really good second and third now going in for the fourth skill okay we have a couple of arrows which lands up and deals some shock damage uh, okay that looks good it just has a partial iframe just when he back he moves back into position that's when the iframe works in and uh, let's just do this one more time the fifth skill now that is really good he just binds up all those enemies and lands a heavy blow in the final and it's a partial iframe skill he does not start off with a high frame towards the end it comes in that looks like a really good skill look at that he just binds everybody together and then he drops in i like that i like that skill he should be a really good free to play character uh, this is the one i like the most the arrows just going up in the air and landing them with the shock damage nice i i like him uh, so that's the three new characters that we are getting in this game and uh, now we can go into the uniform section we have uniforms for octopus red skull we'll go with the red skull it's called the hydra armor looks really cool the dark black version of a suit of iron man and now for the skills we have the awakened skill for iron skull introduced in this update the hydra rallying cry uh, increasing all attack by 20 percentage okay uh, let's just see how much skill differences we are getting with this uniform uh, if you go we check the uniform effect okay decreasing damage is by 20 percentage is a uniform bonus and then the tier 2 passive 30 percent increase of all attacks okay okay 30 percent increase i think it is a lot more compared to the previous uniform let me just confirm it okay so 30 percent increase of all attacks Increased damage dealt to superhero cattle by 120 percentage. Very useful. Very useful. Uh, I just need to confirm this with the previous version. His tier 2 passive. Yeah, so there's 20 percent increase only in this. We are getting a 30 percent increase with the uniform. So that is a really huge change. That is really good. Not bad. So a really good tier 2 passive. Now tier first skill is just a, having some stun on it. The second skill has a again all defense oh my god we are seeing this a lot today now minus five percent decrease of all defenses stacks up to minus 55 percentage another decreasing of all defense the third skill has a stun on it the fourth one wow the fourth one has a heal for her red skull 50 percent recovery of max hp 100 percent chance for immunity to all damage so survivability thick for red skull Wow, the fifth skill. Oh, that's a lot of text on that fifth skill. Increasing all attack by 60 percentage. Crit rate by 60 percentage. Wow. What a rework this is. This uniform is going to take him to some big level. Oh my god. I think this should be a really good uniform for Red Skull. Taking him kind of to the meta level. And this is the... Let's just try the skills now. Oh my god, so interesting man. This update is so dope. And here we go. He's not flying at least. So that's the first skill. It opens up with an iframe. And some basic kicks. The second skill, there's some flight mode in that and a full iframe skill too. That is some really good skill. Look at that. Nice, nice damage. Now the third skill. Also an iframe skill. Oh wow. He goes in the air and fires some blasts from his hand. I really like that skill. The third skill. That's the second. And Wow. These skills are really good. And here we go. That's the third skill again. I just really like that. The movement is so good. And this is the fourth skill. Oh my god. Wow look at that fourth skill continuous attack 
Okay, it it does not have. We cannot move him. He just stays in position and delivers that attack. Uh, look at that. But he binds some of the enemies together before he delivers it. This is the one way you get the heal also. You get the heal right away when you apply the skill, and then uh, he goes on with the beam. Wow, that's a really good one. And the fifth skill. Okay. Oh, look at that. There's a blue aura coming out of his suit there. The trip skill is so short, it's just basically buffing him up. You guys saw the increase of 60% of all attacks. So he is having that all attack buff right now. Now you can continue using those other skills. Uh, that's the fourth skill again. Wow. Did he just use two arms for that fourth skill? Man, this is so good. This is a really good uniform. Wow. Uh, now we just have the Awakened skill to try out. Uh, we'll just try out this Awakened skill now. Here we go. That's the Awakened skill. Crossbones and Sin coming in for the assist. That is, that is a skill which affects a lot of area. Wow. We'll just do it one more time. Look at that skill, guys. Man. 300 plus hits. 300 plus hits for that Awakened skill. This is going to help him out a lot. I think this is a must buy uniform, guys. What an upgrade. Huge upgrade. And then the next uniform, Superior Octopus. Look at those tentacles. They look really good. And then we have the vacant potential for Dr. Octopus 2. He is the second character that gets the sixth skill introduced. Now let's just see what the difference is. We have six skill changes. And oh, okay, what is that now? Look at that uniform bonus. Increases the damage by 200% when the tentacle shock wave skill is used. Oh my god, what is this? A proc in the uniform? Damage proc in the uniform. So for the tier 2 skill, we have an increase uh, of chain hit damage and guaranteed dodge rate. The first skill is a basic damage dealing skill. The second skill is also a basic skill. And the third skill, that's where the proc comes in. 100% chance for immunity to all damage for 5 seconds. Wow, that is really good. And it's also a lightning dealing skill. This is the skill where the proc comes in, guys. And the fourth skill has a paralyze and 30% shock damage. And fifth skill, okay. There it is. Decrease of all defenses again. <laughs> We are having that for every character, I guess, in this update. All the villains are getting this decrease of all defenses of the enemies. Really interesting. Uh, this uniform is really good. We'll just check out the skills now, guys. Uh, look at him. Okay, the tentacles are really good. Really good work on the uniform. Wow. Now we'll just go in with the first skill. Uh, no iframe on that. It's a basic damage skill. Second skill has some iframe. Okay. Second damage. Second skill just binds the characters and he unleashes his tentacles on them. Really good skill. Now going in for this third skill, which brings in the proc. Wow. Look at him delivering that skill. And the proc just activates right away. No, the, the proc hasn't come yet. That's the tentacle shockwave. Okay, now the proc comes in. Look at that. 200% for one attack. So, uh, I think we need to do a couple of skills before the proc comes in. Look at that. It's just the third skill, the proc does not come in. Uh, we'll just use the first and second skill and then the third skill and then it lands. Look at that. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. A skill which has a proc. And the skill also looks really good in animation too. That's the fourth skill. Oh my god, he just goes all crazy landing in that shocks. And he drops that fourth skill with the shock damage too. Look at that. Shock. What have Net Marble done? Some really good uniforms. That's the fifth skill now. That's uh, a long skill and it has a lot of hits too. I think this is a really good uniform. And we have a, an answer now for Speed Villain ABX Day now.
Dr. Octopus is going to be the big bad one in this, I guess. Wow. I'm just gonna take all these guys together and put in that awakened skill now. We saw it in the live stream. Here we go. Awakened skill coming in. Vulture, Electro, Sandman, Mysterio. And then Craven will be dry. Our Craven drops in the end. 400 plus hits, guys. What a huge skill that is. All the Sinister Six allies coming in to help out Superior Octopus. Man, I think I will be unlocking these Awakened skills for Superior Octopus. Look at that. What a pretty cool animation. This Awakened skill is going to be a really good, really good thing uh, in the coming up updates, I think. I know it's not possible to bring uh, more than uh, one tier 3 in every update. I don't know if they will be doing two tier 3s in an update. But uh, Awakened skills is something that they can do to uh, multiple characters. Wow. This is so good guys. Look at that. Just like some big tier 3 skill it is. I think this is also another must buy. Iron Skull and the Superior Octopus. Two really good uniforms. That has just changed two characters from zero to something. Pretty really good. And uh, now we have two more uniforms to check in. One is the Captain America one, which makes him a super villain. This is the Hydra Supreme uniform. It looks so tanky. And the uniform effects are 10% increase of all attacks. Okay, that is some really good uniform bonus there. Chance for immunity, all damage, increase of all attacks by 20%. I think this is a little bit better than the end game. Yeah, the end game has only 15% of all attack increase. This has 20% of all attack increase plus that increase of all attacks 10%. Okay, this is another big uniform now. Talking about the skills, we have five skill changes. The first skill has a burn, bleed, and stun. And the second one has a bleed and the third one has a stun and increasing his defense there he goes more buff to him and then the fourth skill has a burn bleed stun okay decrease of all defenses now we are seeing a trend now guys a lot of decrease of all defense now this is oh my god look at that hp recovery 10 percent is recovery on the fifth skill Increase of all attacks by 25%. This is also another good uniform. Survivability for Captain America. He's getting a heal in this uniform. The only difference is that this uniform also makes him into a blast character. That's a really huge difference, not a small difference. From combat, he goes to blast. Let's just look at the skills now. We'll have the first skill. Uh, it starts off with an iframe and that beam the laser beam coming in look at that it just comes out of his shield or hand i'm not sure about that from his hand i think wow that's the second skill we just smash them out of here look at that he binds them up and hits do a heavy blue on and does a heavy blow on them wow third skill also is really good look at him binding everybody together and landing the blow oh, wow all these skills look so good another upgrade for captain america i know i'm disappointed with another uniform for captain america but this is also a really good one look at the fifth skill now sorry the fourth skill uh, a burn and bleed damages to the enemies it's not an iframe but it does some pretty good damage i think the fifth skill this is the one we're talking about which gives him the heal plus okay they are staying in a time freeze kind of setup he's using the cosmic cube power i guess look at that fifth skill let me just push him over here wow wow look at this man Another good uniform. Can you change in the tier 3? Okay, the tier 3 is just the same. We have all this green aura everywhere around. Oh my god, what happened to them? Oh my god, where did he send those? 
Where did he send the dummies? I can't see them. Okay, let me just turn the AI on. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my. Oh god, that was so insane. He just kicked them out of the park out here. Wow. What a good uniform, guys. Man, this is, this is one really good update. Now we're going in to check the last uniform with this update. Crossbones and crossbones uniform. He just looks too good. Okay, what is that now? That is a different ability. The cosmic cube. Increase of increase of uh, damage to superhero and supervillain characters. That is something different. And that's just from this uniform only. Do we have anything for Red Skull now? Yes, it's there for Red Skull too. The cosmic cube. And it's only for this uniform. Are we having it for... Okay, not for Superior Octopus. What about now? We'll just check on Crossbones also. Cool, so I think it's only for Iron Man. Uh, sorry, Captain America and Red Skull. Great. Now this is the Crossbones uniform. And who is this? Is this Bane? Look at the jump he's having. He's just bulking up so much. He went to, he went to training with Bane or something, I think. But looking really badass how many skill changes do we have right we have a uniform bonus 25 increase of all attacks 50 percent increase of hp more tank here great nothing else there for this uniform here so this uniform is doing a lot of difference to him first skill is just basic second has a burn and bleed the third skill wow we have an hp recovery in this people burn and Decrease of all defense. There it goes again. Decrease of all defense for crossbones also. Plus the heal. Oh, wow. Another great uniform. I don't know. I'm so excited guys. They are doing a major rework with the uniforms. The fourth skill just has some burn damage. That's the fifth skill. Uh, invincibility of 5 seconds. And increasing all attacks over 35%. Crit rate by 35%. Another huge upgrade. So far all these four uniforms are giving these characters a lot of upgrade what in the world are seeing here let's see the skills we'll just preview the skills now here we go that's some slow movement guy first skill has an iframe just some punch on him second skill iframe skill he just dashes around them that's some slashing and now that's the third skill wow and he gets the heal towards the end of the skill so you need to completely finish up the skill okay what is that what is that he puts on the ground before he does his attack cool that's a mine he places a mine look at that i'll just put that attack again he puts a mine in the beginning he goes on attacking with his guns and then the mine just blasts that is so cool what a really cool skill that is. Now we'll go in with the fourth skill. Wow. Ending up with that grenade launch. Look at the movement. Sorry, I just put the third skill again for me. Look at the movement of the guns. For that fourth skill. Wow, I'll just bring in all these guys together for the fifth skill. Should be a big one. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. An iframe towards the end. You get an immunity to all damage when you punch in the fifth skill. And he goes attacking and he just throws the gun back at the enemies. So badass. So badass. Look at that fifth skill again. And that's the iframe coming in the end. That is really good. So he does not get attacked by the enemies. Wow. I'm getting this uniform. I'm getting this. I'm getting all these uniforms. Major rework, major rework for all the characters that way, at the zero level. I don't know what to say. No wonder they're not introducing any game modes for this update. They just went to increase the character stats of everybody that way low. 
now we just have winter soldier here winter soldier is the one getting the tier 3 for this update uh, we'll just go on and check that out here we go that's winter soldier uh, unfortunately we are not getting a uniform for winter soldier the infinity war will be the last best uniform for him so nothing new just a tier 3 addition for him uh, he still stays a superhero and good i just uh, let's just check out the tier 3 skill for winter soldier uh, now this is what we get in the tier 3 we have some burn bleed and stun and paralyze and decrease of all defenses yes it's there and for self his crit rate increases ignores the dodge rate and for substance rate invincibility wow okay we saw him doing the tier 3 skill in the live stream with the basic uniform let's just see how good he's going to look with the infinity war uniform let's just load up the tier 3 skill now that's weird in the live stream they just loaded up the tier 3 skill right away what bug is that guys come on come on one more and here we go the tier 3 has been unlocked i'll just move in all these guys together coming together tier 3 skill incoming now wow oh my god he looks so good with this uniform wow 700 plus hits he just binded all those guys together and he lands in that tier 3 and look at that hit 700 plus hits Okay, I think that is going to deal a lot of damage. We have to test him out, guys. So, just stay tuned. Uh, uh, we will be testing out all these guys uh, in these two days before the update drops in. Look at that tier 3 skill again. Look at him coming out in the bike. Wow. 650 hits. Uh, one guy got left out there, so that's the minus. Whoa. guys this update is going to be totally sick okay and just stay tuned to this channel subscribe if you are coming here for the first time we'll be doing more videos with these new characters and the uniforms test them out in the different game modes world boss ultimates abx and everything and i this is a really good update guys i so excited for this one and until the next video drops in guys, take care and be prepared.